This is code.org, and we're on the practice puzzle. Let's take a look at this. Debug car. All right. Oops. The red part of the car is hiding the wheel. Fix the problem to match the picture. Let's see what we have so far. Mm. All right. Read the code that makes the car. Change it so the wheels are visible. Now, remember, in code, a computer does everything in order. So we gave the computer a list of instructions. And here's what it did. It said, I'm going to draw something gray. So let me grab some gray paint. And I'm going to draw one ellipse and then two ellipse. So it just drew two circles. Then what's it do? Well, now it grabs some red paint. And it draws one rectangle, two rectangle, three rectangle, four rectangle, five rectangle. So if I get a piece of paper and draw a giant circle in the center of it, and then also in the center of it, I draw a red square. So first I draw a circle, then I draw a red square. What's going to be the shape that is on top? Would it be the circle that I drew first or that square that I drew next? Well, it would be the last thing I drew. When I tell a computer to draw a gray circle twice, two gray circles, and then I tell it to draw a bunch of red squares, well, what's on top? The red squares. They are coming last. So I'm going to try to click and drag and drop this way down here. What should happen now is that all of this should get in drawn red. Then the computer will grab some gray paint and draw my wheels. Let's double check the picture. And you want to be careful. Remember with colors, guys, remember with color, if I do, well, now it's going to be mean. But if I had moved the color elsewhere, you have to have the color over the items you want to be that color. So all of these rectangles are red, and I have to make sure to move gray with my ellipses. But uh awesome. Onward. Actually, let's take a look at these other puzzles. So debug car. Let's now do debug flower. Click. So on de debug flower, I'm going to hit run. Oh, this flower is a dying. Uh-oh, the flower is missing some petals. Bring them together with the center of the flower to recreate the picture on the right. Look at the code that makes it. Use the grid. Yeah, definitely turn on your grid. Zoop, 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 zoop. My students know that well, at least you should. <laughs> Change the codes of the petals attached to the center. All right. So we already hit run. What's happening? Well, we grab purple paint. The computer says, okay, purple paint. And then it draws one, two, three, four, five circles. One, two, three, four, five circles. This is making sense. And then it draws what? Well, a yellow center. So I know the yellow one's all right. These are the only one that's weird. Now, which ones are these? Hmm. Well, they're off over here. Let's look at the center of it. So I'm hoping. Circles or ellipses are drawn from the center, remember? So if I hold my mouse over it, if you look under here, you get numbers. It looks like the center is roughly at 300, 200. Oh, well, look, ellipse, 300, 200. I'm going to move it over how much? 50? Let's start now. Well, we would need to subtract here. So 50, let's start with 250. So 300 minus 50 is 250. And remember, you can be wrong on code. Let's test it out. Boom. Okay, so that's not far enough, obviously. Let's try 240, maybe. That's looking better, but it's not touching here. I wonder how high this guy is. So it centers at about 150, 160 X. Oh, there it is. Oh, so its Y value is 195, and ours right now is 200. Let's try 195 then. And that is looking better. Okay, now we have this guy. So, and again, I think maybe... 160? Oops, completely not. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo. I was talking about this one, and by 160, I mean, let's see, let's do X at about 220 and Y at about 220 and see what that looks like. Okay, not quite. So this one's 235. We should try that. And that is looking awesome. Ta-da! That one's tricky. Remember to use the mouse, right? It shows you X, Y, and the grid, and have patience. So now we have one more. Let's go back, and let's do the debug a stoplight. All right, let's see what we're doing. The stoplight is all mixed up. Let me hit run. Yep. Fix it so it looks like the picture. Got it. Read the code. 
Okay, so we need red, yellow, green. Well, they have the right color here. Hmm. Now, like always, guys, remember, order matters. So what's happening first? I'm telling the computer to draw three rectangles, but I never give the computer a color, right? So it says, okay, one rectangle, two rectangles, three. Oh, now I'm going to grab black paint. So what it draws is just the default kind of yucky gray color. So I need this up here so they can be drawn black. Let's test. Boom. And there I have three rectangles. My circle disappeared because my circle is also black, so we can't see it. All right. Now we want the red on top. Well, here's my red color. Where does it go? What do we want red? Just the circle, nothing else. So directly above my lips, I think it's that one. Let's try. Boom. Okay, well now why do I have two red ellipses? Well, the computer picks up red paint, draws one circle, then draws another. If I want the second circle to not be red, oh yeah, here's my yellow paint. Oh, I don't want two yellow. Let's grab green. Now, yellow paint, draw a yellow circle, grab green paint, and now it will draw a green circle. Boom. Ta-da! These ones are tricky. Awesome. Well, I think that is... Yep, all three. Onward.